Talk with Jack this morning about comp time and what happens uh, when Jack works the extra hours or when are you talking? Uh, this just applies to all of our exempt employees and that's Jack, Bill, Ted, me. It would be the uh, four salaried exempt employees. And what, uh, you know, if you work extra hours, you know, what, what is kind of the give and take about working that extra hour? Um, when you think about our policy on comp time for exempt employees, we don't really have a policy on that. It's been, you know, it's, we have this out there, it's uh, got an understanding, there's a little flux in, in the scheduling, you need some time off. You know, it's, uh, it's there for, you know, take Friday afternoon off every now and then. You know, and, and that happens. You know, that happens um, really with all of our uh, with all of our exempt employees. You know, there's no flux in there. Talked to Jack this morning about several days that he was off on vacation or uh, off on, you know, just for the whole day. Yeah. Um, and how we would account for those times when he's off for the entire day. And um, you know, without a doubt, through this past winter, there's been massive, massive amounts of it. And Jack has, has, you know, used some of the comp time, left early on some days, had a couple days over over the time where we had comp time as full days off. But uh, the question comes up, you know, we don't have policy on that. And really, uh, do, we, do we need to have policy, you know? I'm, I just throw that out there for discussion. And that was my thing. I just, you know, is it at Scott's discretion? You know, that's, that's fine. But I just thought we need to address it. And we can talk about it and bring it up in a couple of weeks. But I just thought I would throw it out. If it's totally up to his discretion, that's fine. Or if you're just talking half days or, you know, I, I just think we need to just have a little clarification on where we stand. What about finding out what other towns do and then we'll bring it back to the council? What other towns do? We can pick and choose. I can come up with some. Are you some saying the corporate world? This is not very commonly a documented policy. Precisely because of these reasons. Mm -hmm. It is just an understanding. Um, you know, your salaried employees, you just kind of work within you know, the means and requirements of your job and the understanding that extra time is required and how that kind of offset over time. You will not, I don't think, and I don't know, the municipal world is completely different as far as that goes, but you will not find this to be a documented policy very often. And if it is, it is very vague. So, we, well, I think we yeah. should find out what other towns are doing. And maybe we won't like it, but mm -hmm. it's always been up to the city administrator. But it, it, not necessarily, because it's always been it's always just, like I say, been an understanding. I don't know that we've ever had this discussion before. Mm -hmm. You know, if Jack or Bill, again, leaves at, at noon on some day, but what this never come up. Now, I just want to make sure I'm clear as to, you know, what, and there's obviously been something to instigate the conversation now. Well, I put down more than, than half a day. I took, like, over a week and a half, two weeks, I took five days off. I come back three years, and then, you know, but I worked, like, eight hours this weekend, and I had the problems. But, uh, you know, I just thought we need to clarify, you know, if... So there if was a question all, about the time that you thought you were comping, and the question right, about if, understanding of what comping is. Right. Be. Okay. We just need to come to agreement. You know, it's hard to take half days all the time. Well, it seems to me it took a half a day at a time to be more disruptive to the work schedule than when we take the whole day. We can barely get anything started or we can't plan a project unless, and then all of a sudden you're, you're, you're supervising the leaves. So, the other... The other side of this, though, is that you know it, it, it really doesn't happen that that often, and it really can't happen that often. And within being a department head, being an administrative position, you know, it's probably not a forty-hour week job, and it the amount of leave never offsets the extra time that goes into it. So you're just supposed to donate those hours and those extra hours that work, you know. Yeah. yeah. I think there's certain expectations, yes, that you do. Right, to a certain extent. Yeah. I, 
Right. I mean, I, mean, I think, I mean, Sally, I get calls every night. Oh, yeah. That's, mm -hmm. and, and you do it too, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, but there are certain expectations of the job, what it's going to, what the job entails. And I guess, uh, as being a manager, you know, being a supervisor such as that, is that the, the city has given you enough confidence in your ability to manage people, whether you take a half a day off or not, you know, if you say that's too often or whatever, and you talk about disrupting the plan, a good manager can plan something for his employees to do all day long. So I'm, I'm just saying, taking a half day should disrupt the, the whole flow of, of what that day is supposed to get accomplished. It's, you know, if you know, you're supposed to, I'm just, you know, push it all, all day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Right. But I just, like you said, I just thought we needed to come to agreement or discuss or leave it the way it is. And that's fine. It's, you know, this really does come to an end, and it has a lot to do with with the winter and, and mm -hmm. you know, a very tough winter. Yeah. And, you know, and I, you know, and I started 1st of December, the Jack, this straight time, you know, this straight over, over time, 192 hours of uh, additional time over 40 hours a week. But Bill had 182. So, is, is your concern? During the process, that it was full consecutive days. I don't even know if it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's full consecutive days and not be, you know, partial days occasionally. You yeah, know, yeah. That and that's, more or and that's kind of in my mind. That's been a great thought. You know, if you're going to take a day off, you take a day leave. Some sort. You know, we leave it with that. That's fine with me. Well, let's check with other towns. I don't know, I can't imagine writing rules is going to be easy because Jack be and Bill and Ted, you, you're all busy at different times of the year, at different times of the week, where you can't have an umbrella thing that's going to cover every one of them because every one of the jobs is completely different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it can't hurt to look around and see what other towns do. Yeah. Maybe it's, most of them don't do anything. you got to leave it up to somebody. It certainly would yeah, you know, and the, we can certainly well, see, we'll what's, look around. see what's out there for other policies. I, I would guess my, my thing would be is if the department head, when we put our full confidence in, decides he, that he could take a day off and it doesn't hurt anyone, and, and come to me and tell us about that, and you can agree that that's probably not going to hurt anyone, then I don't see the problem with the whole day. If that's, I mean, we all know he's got plenty of time coming, so I, I don't view all that as a problem. And if it becomes a problem, then we fire him. And if he abuses it, we fire him. Well, that's the way it works. That's, uh, uh, I don't think that's going to happen, but I mean, that's, that's our remedy. But the the other part of that, though, is, is just what you're saying. I mean, we have such long-serving employees, everyone has, you know, three or four weeks of vacation and a week of, uh, of a personal time. I mean, that's, that is actually something that we then struggle with from time to time about the amount of leave that everybody has. That's the if he's a salary employee, then technically why why should we even be turning in a timesheet? We're paid the same no matter what we work, so why are we turning in a timesheet? I mean he if he's a supervisor, he ought to know whether or not he, he's able to take a half a day off or a day off. Technically I don't think I don't think it's even necessary to turn in a timesheet. Well, but we can also always count for if you want us to turn in a timesheet that shows forty hours, you don't want us to turn in a timesheet showing what we have to do. So why, why, if you're a salaried employee, you're going to get paid for the 40 hours a week, whether you have 40 or 80. So if you have 80 and you're not going to get compensated for it anyway, why are you putting, why are you putting, in other words, he shouldn't have to fill out the same time sheet as his Oh, you know, I, 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 really, I do disagree with that, Ted, and it has everything to do with accountability for the work. Do you do the time sheet the same way they do? No, I do mine uh, incrementally on 15-minute increments. Yeah. 